Hi, Mark Heath here, and in this video, we're going to have a look at two more link methods that really are quite fun and useful for certain types of programming algorithms. Certainly, these would have been useful in a number of the advent of code coding challenges that I solved over the last few years. And these are traverse depth first and traverse breadth first. And one of the easiest ways of showing you what this does is by using a family tree. So I've declared a very simple type called person and a person is made up of their person's name plus a list of children. And it can be any number of children. And so a person is a name and an I enumerable of person. And so here I've set up a family tree of the queen and I was not able to do this from memory. Um, in fact, I would have failed miserably had I tried to do this from memory, but I found this very helpful image that showed me the Queen's family tree. And so she's got four children and Prince William has got three children. So here are her sort of great grandchildren. Um, and some of them have got some fancy titles like Lady Louise and Viscount Seven. Um, and we might think that we could use the flatten method to help us kind of flatten this into a sequence. But one of the advantages of traverse breadth first and depth first is it allows us to determine the order at which we will go work our way through this sequence. So if we do breadth first, so let's just run it all and we'll look at them. So what happens with breadth first? So we start at the top of the tree, Queen Elizabeth, but then we do each of her four children, Prince Charles, then Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, and Prince Edward. And then we kind of go back to the next level down the tree. And Prince Charles has got William and Harry, so William and Harry appear, but then Princess Anne has Peter and Zara. And so we're going through the Queen's grandchildren next, and then when we've gone through all of them, we come back to the top and we start going through the great grandchildren. Um, and so that is called a breadth first search and depth first search is the order that I've inputted the data here. So we're just going to go keep uh, following down the children. We'll go Queen Elizabeth, Prince Charles, Prince William, Prince George, um, Charlotte, Louis, and then back up a level, Prince Harry and back up another level, Princess Anne and so on. So we keep going up and down. And so how do we actually set this up? Well, we use more enumerable dot traverse breadth first. We pass in the uh, starting object and then we have a selector method that selects what the next level, what the next um, children essentially are, child items. Now here I'm just returning a property of the object, but if you use a bit of imagination here, you could actually programmatically generate things. So if you're doing some kind of searching for a maze, you might have coordinates of where you are in the maze. And then this method returns an array of all of the directions that you could go in, all of the coordinates that are reachable. And if you were tracking which places you'd already been, you could exclude those from this um, child method. So it's useful for more than just um, traversing a static list. It, you can really use it to traverse any kind of problem space um, and track state as you go if you'd like to do that. Um, so this would have been very useful for some of the kind of maze and graph searching problems that um, the advent of code challenges threw up. Um, but it's useful for all kinds of problems. These are very well-known computer science algorithms, and it's great that Morelink has made them easily available to us.